What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to go over a couple different things. Um, I will make a video on why I've been so, um, you know, kind of dissing if you guys care about that. Uh, I'm not really gonna put that up unless I'm specifically asked for it. But nevertheless, just wanted to thank you guys before I start today's video. Um, there is a pretty heavy purpose as to why I have these guns kind of interchanged here and I'll explain that here in just one second. But before we get into that, I just wanted to thank everyone that has been continuously supporting um you know the channel the idea i know it's not the most interesting thing out there um, but it is made so that way for new people that are looking to get into shooting know um the purpose of you know buying a gun longevity is it going to be a good idea is it going to be a bad idea what the case whatever the case may be it's going to help them make stronger purchases i do plan to have a, a video of things that i regret purchasing and the list unfortunately is incredibly um never ending so um but that's not today's video more importantly what's really really awesome is just the fact that you know i haven't made a video in probably a couple months and i've just been seeing non-stop subscribers non-stop likes non-stop um, just support from the youtube community and i cannot thank you guys enough this is a um you know very uh time consuming thing to do especially to upload a 4k video it takes a long time uh a lot of just you know wear on a computer i upgraded computer i lost my um, intro and other things. I tried to redo it. I was very far, far along with it and I started having issues with it. So I had to upgrade it. And unfortunately it was my computer for work. So um, that kind of led me to make a, a different move. I ended up getting a newer computer, but it has less um, storage. And some of these videos that I was uploading for 4K for uh, 15 minutes can be, you know, 200, and, 200 gigs or so, 120 gigs. So you get a couple of those, your intro, stuff like that. You really start to accumulate a lot of space and you're really making your, your laptop work really hard. Now, the problem for that was um, I use my laptop for work. So and since I don't have a desktop, I um, which is my own fault, um, you know, it just caused some issues and I had a uh, long story short, uh, lost everything, updated my laptop. Luckily, I kept all my work stuff on, on uh, you know, encrypted areas. So I didn't really lose anything that was necessarily um, devastating, thankfully, but ended up getting a new MacBook. Um, and then aside from that, I have a Acer um, older computer that I've had for a long time that I don't even use. So I just downloaded some stuff on there, tested it out. I did a little intro video. It really sucks because I had a really cool unboxing that I did. And although the video converted wonderfully, the problem was it did not, um, I was using a different mount to record because I couldn't find the one that I'm using now. And so I, unfortunately I lost um, a lot of time because you couldn't even hear my voice. So it was kind of redundant. I was gonna still upload it, but nobody would be able to listen to it. I couldn't even listen to two minutes of it without getting annoyed. So I figured I would not put you guys through that. So um, nevertheless, it was uh, about this Norso slide. So um, I know this gun doesn't have one in the chamber. I will safety clear it real quick. So as you can see, there's the feed ramp in there and there's nothing in it. So um, more importantly, I did a really uh, good unboxing of this and I talked about the difference from the original Spectre Comp slide to the Norso. So the reason I really like the Norso is it's got a little bit more matte of a finish and you can actually see that from the glossy, you see how glossy that is to that. It doesn't look too much different unless you're looking at them at the same exact time. But I will tell you, the um, finish on this, I don't know how durable it will be. It seems like it'll be more than fine. I thought, you know, high gloss generally leads to a little bit more um, reliability as far as like durability. However, uh, that has not been the case. You can see kind of here on the magwell, it's starting to wear away even on the inside and on the outside. And it's more of a gloss. So uh, with that being said, I'm interested to see how that holds up. I thought it was really nice. He gave me two RMR screws that came in the packaging. The packaging was very nice. It came in two 
uh, essentially a, a square box. You flip it open, and then there's like a top uh, cushion, a bottom cushion, and then they put it inside of like an actual plastic, so that way your barrel doesn't even get scratched when it comes to you. So all in all, I thought it was a fantastic packaging job. Um, I ordered the slide actually end of last week, and I already got it um, this week, which today is Wednesday. Um, so it took about three business days uh, because I think I ordered it late Thursday night or maybe it was no, actually it was scratch that it was actually I believe Saturday so I got it in three business days which is pretty remarkable uh, the guy was super nice I called and asked about the differences in slides so in this one particularly I went with um, the reptile C pour up top is what it's called the barrel is on back order a lot of people are buying these um, at least that's what they say um, so I am still waiting on the barrel. I ordered some night vision sights. Uh, they're not here either. So that is something else that I'm waiting on. I did get the uh, completion kit. That took a while to get. It took noticeably longer than the barrel. I ordered the completion kit uh, probably a week beforehand i didn't know which way i wanted to go so they have a bull barrel option and they have a regular barrel that's just ported option i chose the regular barrel because uh with the slide that it comes with i think it's a little bit more compatible where i did get a different barrel or ever have to switch an upper or whatever the case may be with the porting that it has um, to make a little bit more sense i know it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense yeah you could just argue that the bull barrel whatever just operates differently i just like the actual c porting style as opposed to they have like a top square window cut that has geo ports so it's like four triangles that are facing uh counter like vice versa facing each other it's a little bit different um i thought that would mess with the marksmanship and since i am not overly top accurate with my sigs as i am like my staccato um, because I'm still learning too, guys. Um, I've done lots of shooting, but I still have some areas I can improve. I think everyone is, is pretty conscious of that. So I personally was not comfortable enough to do that. Now, um, in the original video that I pre-recorded, I did not put this together. So I'm actually glad I did. It fits on here surprisingly, extremely well. So I don't know what dimensions they did. They shortened it up just a little bit. But as you can see... It does not actually come in contact with the compensator, no matter what you do. So I think that's pretty amazing. Um, now I will tell you, usability um, in comparison to the stock uh, SIG slide here, uh, 10 out of 10 upgrade. Uh, would definitely recommend you do this. It kind of sucks because it is a little bit more expensive to do it. I mean, I guess you could just transfer over your sights, transfer over um, other than you technically don't have a front sight. So... You know, there's a couple of differences to it. Like, there's really no point. You'd have to leave that off there, I guess, and then just replace the one up here. Um, you know, with suppressor height sights. So I guess you'd need new sights no matter what you do. You'd have to leave this one off because there's an extra slot here because this isn't meant for this uh, the Spectre Comp. However, I will tell you, it is fantastic night and day. This is a lot more glossy and slippery. It has like a clear coat over it, which has made it in turn very durable. I've had this gun for a long time. And it hasn't worn down any other than just a nick. And I actually dropped. Um, I was going to put it in my gun case. And when I went forward, it actually flipped forward. And it fell out on tile. And that's all I got. So not a, not a bad, very bad nick there. Especially for what it could have been. It could have marred up the whole thing. The actual slide has no damage whatsoever. So the coating on it is very, very durable which has not been SIG's MO. Every single other uh, slide I've ever gotten from SIG has for the lack of better words been in comparison to like dlc on a glock has been junk it just is i'm sorry i'm a sig guy i love my glocks too don't get me wrong but i have more sigs than i do glocks uh and a lot of it is just because i've noticed there there's a couple complaints you'll get from glock people to sigs i don't shoot uh sigs because of the high bore axis and it you know blah 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 and that does exist i'm not saying it doesn't so don't get off in your feelings and jump in the comments but it does exist I have noticed uh, when I time myself in shooting, it doesn't make a bit of a difference to me. Um, and it's only something that you can really judge by having both guns next to each other um, and putting them head to head. So 
whenever the time comes, whenever I get all my pieces together, I will physically do a side-by-side -side comparison because I don't actually believe this is doing as much as what I'm led to believe it does or what SIG is saying it does. Um, I think a lot of it is in the grip module that it's so heavy and that you, the fact that you have a 4.7 inch barrel and then that's probably not doing as much as we think it, it does. I mean, they're saying like, you know, it's a huge re uh, reduction in recoil. I just don't see it. Um, I have the X5 Legion, so I have something to base it off of. And the X5 Legion is, is a wonderful sh uh, shot as well. And the only time you experience a little bit more heavy recoil is when you go to that lighter recoil spring, because when you're shooting it with the lighter recoil spring, it's not padding it enough, um, you know, to really limit how far, how hard it hits back uh, the slide to the, to the locking block. So... Um, Interesting theory I have, but I want to see what it is, and I'm going to test both of these out. So it looks a little funky, don't get me wrong. It looks a little funky, This the, the compensator overhangs at the end of this. But I'm still going to test it uh, with a lighter grip module if it is truly the comp that is helping it or if it's the fact that it just has the weight. And we're going to be able to tell because the other one's going to have the porting system. So, um, you know, that'll tell us a lot right there. And I'm sure if I shot it on here and just switched it to over here, that would tell me all I need to know. But I also want to test at the same time how the porting stands up to the um the compensator and then also if that's the case is there really that much of a difference into why you would carry this tungsten infused grip module because as it sits this gun with an upper uh fully assembled even with rmr and light is less than you know it's probably like 20 close to 29 ounces uh give or take um you know depending on what finishes you have on if you have a gas pedal so on and so forth and this one completely unloaded uh, with a, with the just the light on there is like 50 some ounces. I mean, it's probably getting closer to mid to high 50s, if not in the 60s with the RMR. So uh, is there a need to have this heavy of a grip module? I do not know. I plan to put it to the test. Um, so stay tuned for that. We're going to keep uh, doing stuff on the channel. Keep going like before. I appreciate everybody who's been nonstop supporting the channel. Again, like and subscribe, uh, comment. Those are the things that help us get pushed to help me get pushed to the top. So that way we can, you know, continue going forward. And again, we're, we're getting close to really achieving some greatness. So uh, almost to 500 subs. I plan to start a Patreon so that we can get a couple dollars more for the channel. So that way a lot of the high round counts can get, you know, help you know, get alleviated off of me. Uh, ammo is not cheap when you have six, seven, eight, nine guns that you're all putting 20,000 rounds through, um, especially because at some point it is enjoyable, but it's not enjoyable at the same time because you're trying to hurry up and, and get all those things done. And then you're also paying memberships to uh, ranges. So that way it makes sense for you to continuously go back. So um, keep in mind, uh, we do plan to bring some good stuff, some longevity reviews, which nobody does. Everybody does a 1,000, maybe 2,000. A few people have done a 5,000 review. You see forums on people that do 10,000 rounds, uh, 10,000 rounds and above reviews, but um, nothing too in depth. They don't really talk about the stuff that they've had, and then also how. Um, things are going and then we want to get into some torture stuff as well so i think that all all that stuff is going to be very fun and then once we get through um, some more stuff get a little further along i do plan to introduce even more guns to the channel stuff that i've never even ventured into so that way we can learn them together so again thank you for watching and supporting me um it was again not the most entertaining idea but with you guys constantly motivating me for the last couple months with just every you know weekend seeing a couple new subscribers and a couple new likes and a couple new com uh, comments you guys are are a better audience than i could have hoped for and i'm happy that i had this idea and just the continued support is just amazing you guys are all truly wonderful and we're going to keep going and, and see how big we can make this channel and how many people that we can help so thanks for watching stay tuned um i'll bring bring you more content soon